Oh, hey guys, it's me again, Mr. Patrick. I don't know about you, but it's about that time of year where all I can think about are bunnies. Since bunnies are all I can think about, bunnies are also all I can talk about. So I'm gonna read you a bunny story. This one's called, Will You Be My Friend? Because even bunnies need friends. Bunny and Bird lived in an old apple tree. Bird lived at the top of the tree in a little hole. Bunny lived at the bottom of the tree in a big hole. Bunny wanted to be friends. When Bird sang, Bunny came out to listen. Will you be my friend? Bunny asked. But Bird felt too shy to answer. She popped back in her little hole. One night, a big storm came. The wind blew hard and rain fell all around. Bird hid in her little hole. Bunny hid in his big hole. Rain blew into Bird's home. She was getting wet. She started to feel very, very cold. Bird did not know where to go to get out of the storm. She started to cry. Bunny heard Bird crying. He saw that Bird was getting wet. Come down here, Bunny called the bird. Bird felt shy, but she was wet. She was cold. Bird decided to take a chance. She flew down, 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 down to Bunny. My home is all wet, Bird told Bunny. Bunny said, come in here where it is dry. Bird went in. Bunny made a cozy bed for Bird. Do not worry, he said. You are safe here. Bird felt much better now. She was warm and dry. Bunny and Bird fell asleep on the soft, sweet grass. The next morning, Bird's nest was all wet and soggy. She felt very sad. I need a new home, Bird said. Bunny said, I am your friend. I will help you. Bird flew off to find soft things for her new nest. Bunny set out to find soft things too. Along the way, Bunny met Chipmunk and Squirrel. Will you help fix Bird's home? Bunny asked. Yes, we will help, they said. Squirrel found fern leaves in the woods. Chipmunk found dandelion fluff in the meadow. Bunny found cattail puff by the pond. Then they all hurried back to the old apple tree. Chipmunk and Squirrel ran up the apple tree and down the apple tree to bring all the soft things to Bird. Bird tucked the new, soft bedding into her little hole in the tree. Soon her new nest was finished.
Bird felt warm and happy inside. She had a new home. She had new friends. And she did not feel so shy anymore. Thank you, said Bird to all the animals. I never knew I could have so many friends. Then Bird flew down to sing a special song of thanks for her good friend, Bunny. There's nothing like a, some friends getting together to sing a special song, is there? Actually, that gives me an idea. Since we're all best friends, why don't we sing a song? Obviously, it's gotta be a Bunny song. I think I have just the song in mind. But I'm gonna need you guys help, okay? Every time I go like this on my guitar, you clap. So, clap, clap. You guys think you do that? I think you can do that. It's gonna be awesome. This song, believe it or not, is called Bunny. It goes like this. There was a rabbit with a cane and those floppy ears and a fluffy tail and Bunny was his name. I'll be you and then why be you and then why be you and then why and Bunny was his name. Oh. Alright, that was good. Now we're gonna use the clapping part a little bit. You guys ready? Alright, let's go. guys great story time great song everything is amazing i love bunnies but i'm gonna have to hop on out of here thanks for tuning in and keep your eyes peeled for more videos from me and all your friends at the woodridge public library Bye bye <laughs>